Welcome back on a crazy Friday edition of Expresso Live on SABC3. Now, to commemorate the pick and pay spell check which rolls around annually, we've been putting some of our young minds through their paces. And this morning, we've got a fantastic hamper, a great girl's backpack filled with awesome stationery, like Hello Kitty stuff, really awesome stuff, which means that we want the girls to phone in this morning. Give us a shout, 83 913 We'd love to hear from our girl learners this morning. We're going to put you through your paces with our very own spelling bee. That's on the other side of our youth sport report. Time to get that competitive spirit going again. Let's see what's coming up this weekend. Our focus turns to SA's cricket pitches and basketball courts as we take a look at some of the biggest fixtures coming our way this weekend. We kick off the segment with a look at the South African under-19 cricket side. Displaying ruthless form in their latest one-day series against England down in Cape Town, by Thursday the team had won four of the five matches. Throughout the series, the pace duo of Cajiso Rabada and Nkazabini Zigwili have been the young Proteus' chief destroyers, and Clyde Fortain relishing his new role as an opener, with two half-centuries also by Thursday. The future of South African cricket is certainly looking bright, with these young stars shining the way forward. Now for more cricket fixtures from across the country. Milnerton High School will travel to Fishhook to take on Fishhook High in what is a traditional derby between the two coastal sides. Alberton High and Parton Boys to battle on Saturday morning, whilst Dell College and Selborne College resume what is one of the greatest sporting rivalries across all sporting codes down in the Eastern Cape. The country's top cricketing schools gather for the weekend's biggest fixture, the Independent Schools Cricket Festival at St. Albans College in Pretoria. This year, the event is a proud part of the school's jubilee celebrations, and St. Albans have invited some of their traditional rivals and top guns, including Maritzburg College, Uffies, Pretoria Boys High, Grey Bloom, Grey PE, and St. George's College from Zimbabwe, amongst others. Michael House, Kersney and Bishops will also be in attendance, giving the festival a truly national flavour. Arguably the biggest game of the festival takes place tomorrow. It's the Battle of the Greys, Grey High vs Grey College. Both schools have exceptional teams this year and are reckoned to be amongst the top 20 youth sides in the country. Grey College will be looking to their very strong batting lineup, led by a South African under-19 hopeful Hanka Ulafia, to post a decent total or chase whatever their opponents lay down for victory. On the other hand, Grey High are captained by Eastern Province under-15 and under-17 captain Lloyd Brown and are known as being T20 specialists and big hitters. So we could be in line for an entertaining matchup with lots of runs. Now, finally introducing a new sport to our bulletin. 30 schools from across the country have descended on St. John's and Fitz University for the St. John's Under-19 Invitational Basketball Tournament this weekend. After an initial round-robin stage, the teams will be split into championship and plate divisions. From there, teams of similar strength will play in another round of group matches before the dreaded knockout stages. And of course, finally, the final, where the top school in the land will be crowned. Expresso urges you to get out there and support your schools and your local youth talent. Youth Sports will be back again on Tuesday. Have an awesome weekend. Espresso Youth Sport, brought to you by Deep Heat. Warms pain away.